a sunny day here at the Royal Complex uh, St. Joseph's College take on Isipathana College in the third quarter final of the Milo President's Trophy knockout tournament. Well, everything to play for for both teams as they, ha they meet for the second time in the season. St. Joseph's College of course getting the better out of Isipathana in the first round of uh, the school's league but uh, this tournament, a whole new different to tournament, the knockouts and uh, I have uh, Clifford Surendra with me in the commentary box. Clifford, a lot to play for for both sides. Well, good afternoon, Romario, and good afternoon to all the viewers. Those who are joining us from home, well, there you go. Milo President's Trophy 2019, the much awaited knockout championship coming up live and exclusively on the www.thepapre.com. St. Joseph's taking on AC Patana. Romario, it's going to be a cracking encounter. Yes, indeed. Everything to play for. St. Joseph's College, of course, coming off a defeat while. Isipatana College 2 did not end the, the uh, school's league season on a high and now both teams lock horns and uh, Isipatana College will be seeking to get one back over the Josephians. Well, I'm sure they would have put all those league stories behind and this is going to be a different ball game. It's a knockout from day one onwards or rather from the very first whistle they have to play and there's no second chance, there's no second round, they have to win. So it's a must-win game for both the games, uh, both the teams to be in the championship. So therefore, they're going to play a brand new type of rugby and definitely both the teams are going to come all guns blazing. No doubt about that. Yes, uh, plenty of off-field incidents have uh, hit uh, St. Joseph's College hard as we see 28 uh, degrees here at uh, the Royal Complex. Bit of wind from uh, the northeastern wind and uh, humidity of course 74% and it it is hot it is very hot and i'm pretty sure they will uh, take a 20 minute break as the sun is beating down uh, on the royal complex well i'm sure both these teams will love this weather even though it's going to be really hot i mean instead of being it soggy and wet and windy where the ball's going to be slippery they will really love this so yes perfect weather for running rugby and uh, both teams are aren't uh, 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 both teams love uh, to run the ball, to spread the ball wide, so this is perfect weather conditions. Even uh, the uh, underfoot conditions are a bit, bit hard, but uh, it's uh, good for a, a lovely game of rugby. I have news. Let's meet. Suvisali lakka venuen samangalak tak bama dahari heli mas sebab perimu kuge katiak. Obi utsahe tiur ber tarmada. Obi shari rehi utsahe rabiyo ke karai. Bulim dahari ya. In pasu grease. Ante bagi sorry. Clear men sama gini negatif nak kahle ayat me. Samaan shampoo lada mada degu nak kriya kari clear men. Obat sama gini sorry balada erhi bersatan badi.
Special. She's not just a girlfriend, she is your sweetheart. When you feel it, you don't just call it sunshine, you call it warmth. When you reveal your deepest emotions, it's not just art, it's freedom. And when its essence is premium cocoa butter, it's not just chocolate, it's Ravello. Chocolate so special, you call it Ravello. Echo the voices of fun. Fashion inspired by emotion. Glitz, the fashion destination. I start each day with a dream. A dream to win. Training. Working hard. Rain. How strong the other team is. Nothing can stop me. Nourishing Milo with its unique combination of chocolate, malted barley and B vitamins together with the goodness of milk brings out the winner in you. Milo, fueling the winning spirit. Nestle, good food, good life. We're moments away from uh, kickoff here at uh, the Royal Complex as uh, the, two, the two teams uh, go through their last uh, nitty gritties. And uh, this, of course, Vidyas College and uh, Wesley College have uh, made their way into the uh, semi finals as Royal and uh, St. Thomas's College withdrew at the final moments. So this weekend it'll be St. Joseph's versus Isipatana, the winner into the semi final. And uh, they will be playing the winner from uh, St. Peter's College versus Kingswood College. So everything to look forward to and uh, St. Joseph's College, if they manage to get through, I think uh, they'll be looking to go all the way. Yeah, that's for sure. But another exciting fixture is St. Peter's taking on Kingswood. And Kingswood been playing some wonderful rugby, free flow rugby. Saw their three quarters against St. Anthony's. They had some mesmerizing moves and beautiful offloads. And that's going to be a challenge for St. Peter's to come across. And if, if they make it, St. Joseph's, yes, they had the chance to make it all the way through. But again, remember, St. Joseph's and Peters, they had a very tight call um, when they met in the league. Well, there you go, the Singer Schools Rugby 2020 top 12 teams. Royal finishing the table on top and also St. Peters missing it out and on runners-up position. St. Joseph's third, Wesley fourth, St. Thomas's Mount fifth, Isipatana sixth and Trinity after spending so much and uh, ended up in the seventh and Science College eighth. Kings who did so well, but unfortunately they had to settle in number nine and with the to ten, St. Anthony's eleven and Dharmaraja 12. So this is where the top 12 teams for 2020 and interestingly five schools from Kandy. Yes, that was that was what I was just going to mention. Five schools from Kandy as we see the uh, St. Joseph's College lineup. Shevon Gregory, Gershom Tangaya, Praveen Dilshan round off the front three. Chika Jayavadhan and uh, Shehan Eranda eye in the locks while uh, Nehan Pereira, Rashmika Sandun and uh, the captain Tarindu Dialvis round off the uh, loose forward trio. Russian Gunavadar and uh, Santush Algama combine at 9 and 10, while uh, the centers it will be Imesh Disanayaka and uh, Ruchira Ekanayaka, while uh, Tehran Karuna Nayaka, Sudharaka Devapriya, and Aaron Pereira round off the 15. While well, Isipantana Nivanta Ananda, Sarandu Sihasara, and Pasindu Disanayaka, the front three rows, and Venra Kod, uh, Kodagora, in fact, and also. Surya Dorangoda will be the locks and Jani Serasing along with Ravin Bandara will be covering the flanks and Dahan Vikramarach will be controlling the scrum at number 8 and link up players will be Johan Ratnavira and Klan Chamath and they are going to be 9 and 10 respectively and also Manilka Ruberu and Manjula Ratnaika will be the centers and Nadin, Nadin Basik along with Ramit Himash will be the win three corners and to do the sweeper's job 
and Ashan Gunasekar. Well, there you go. That's the starting 15 Captain for Isipatana, who will be playing in the traditional green and St. Joseph's Behind in blue Rockies. and white. Well, there you go. The kickoff. Rohan Ferdinando will be the referee for the evening. <laughs> well, St. Joseph's putting the kick up in the air. Russian Gunaradana opting to go deep. Sipatana doesn't want to do much about it. They just want to collect it and clear it. And good kick to regain some position. Yes, indeed. Excellent touch finder there. And uh, they go straight back into the uh, St. Joseph's College half. Centre mark. Line Center mark. for St. Joseph's College. So the line outs are very crucial. Both teams trying to get through this task to reach the semi finals. St. Joseph's. Beautifully, done, but not cleanly taken. Knock forward, Isipatana quickly recycling it. Good offload. Coming in, opted to go back inside, and Ashan going to say Kara there. Rock. Josephine cover defense is not that bad. Managed to stop that Patana move. Release. Be glad, Venura, driving forward. Once again, depending on. Will manage to get about two strides and Patana looking dangerous. They have numbers out wide, but Joe's step defense back, step back, step back. second to none step managed back. to stop that move immediately. Dismissed any step opportunities, back. not a clean collection. But referees playing advantage, so the green machine moving forward. Well, it seems like a turnover quickly taken. It's going to be a card, I guess. Time move. Number nine. Well, it's 10 meters. Should I cover it? Well, Romario, that's that's not the right thing to do. You know it's been a penalty and he's okay. taking it quick. Shouldn't have gone for it. And Johan Ratnavira been warned. Yes, it's only a warning. A yes. sensible call by the referee. Yes, indeed. Ideally, he should just uh, move and uh, let the player go through. But uh, no one does that on, a, on the rugby field. And he just impeded uh, the runner and uh, was uh, rightly so penalised. Well, Algama with the kick. Well, managed to bring back Joes to the halfway line. A good territorial kick. A little bit of early nerves to be settled for Patana and Joes there. A little bit of touching and pushing going on. Yes, St. Joseph's College did lose their first line out. So it'll be interesting to see how they bounce back the short man line out. You can see it, it's straight in front of us. Good take. Beautiful dummy. Well, Line seems like a crooked throw. Yes, and the referee just asking for which option Isibatana uh, would uh, prefer. And they opt for the scrum. Back. On that occasion, Russia and Gunavardhan are showing that ball and just trying to sprint through the green machine defense a good call by the referee Crouch. one for Dinandas Patana with the put in Yohan Ratnavira lucky to escape the yellow card not, but not that much of pace to Mario There's still like him trying to settle in it's a little bit slow not much of fireworks, fireworks, not much of sparkling rugby. Yes, I think uh, both teams are just uh, finding their feet still. And uh, in back play, we can see uh, the fullback is uh, straight behind the scrum. And uh, they have uh, just one man on the blind side. Not a good release, but good enough to collect and opting to go for the punt. Seems like referee is playing advantage for Isipatana. Yes, it is. Well, it's, it's a knock forward number four. Six, so, so that's uh, Cheka Jayawardana. Second scrum of the day. I think uh, the first scrum uh, Isipatana College just uh, got uh, went a bit early. The referee settled things down. And uh, now it's the second scrum. It'll be interesting to see how. Uh, Isipatana College, whether they opt for the boot or whether they will decide to run the ball. 
Batavira to Kailan Ketara. Win 3 coming in. Beautiful move, but unfortunately doesn't get it clean. It's a knock forward. No advantage. Well, you can see Isipatani is trying to come up with those counter attacks, which is good signs because it's early in the game they want to attack. Well, Mark, intentions are Mark pretty here. clear, but the only thing is they are not getting those moves right. Mark yes, here. indeed. And even on that occasion, it was the correct player the, the fly half picked, but unfortunately, the pass is uh, going number a bit two. stray. And uh, when you're on that uh, short uh, line, I think it's uh, it's necessary for you to throw a good pass so that uh, crash ball player Ouch. will just uh, collect it on his chest and he can run through. Boy! Steady! Steady! Joseph with their first crumb. Roshan Gunavardana opting to kick and chase. Ball finds. Nadi Kabasik, he has been brought down. Look. Play on! Play on! Patan securing that ball cleanly. Well, that's not the right ball move. Show and go. We had to wait for the referee's call. It's an advantage. So it's a penalty in favor of St. Joseph's. So it's going to be an interesting call from here whether they are going to go for the post or if not they're going to go for touch. They are going for the post. Yes, indeed. I think after the uh, St. Peter's College game uh, uh, or the uh, Royal College game, uh, St. Joseph's uh, decided against a penalty in the dying embers of the game and uh, they ended up on the loose inside from that game onwards. Uh, every kick which is in the kicking range of uh, Santush Agama, they have uh, decided to go for the three points and uh, th this time again uh, Santush Telling the captain that he's uh, it's in my range, so I'll have a have a shot at goal. That makes sense. At least you're attempting for three points, and instead of going in for another phase of rugby, so Santu Shalgama playing in number ten for St Joseph's, a fantastic player, had a good season so far. Well, three points on Romario. Joseph starts with three points. Good scoring. Beautiful finish there by Santo Shalgama. 3 0 to Jose. Yes, indeed. A good uh, low kick there by uh, Santo Shalgama. He had uh, the range and uh, the mid went through quite easily. But I think uh, St. Joseph will be very happy because uh, they did not go into the 22 of Isipatana and they managed to get points. Whereas Isipatana went into the 22 of uh, St. Joseph's College on two occasions, but failed to get any points. Restart by Ashan Gunasekra. With the ball up in the air, it goes for a touch. I would say an excellent restart, but it's good enough for the green machine. Yes, uh, I think uh, the fly half will be very happy that he did not go out on the full. And it just bounced inside the field of play. Tangaya in the bright boots will be thrown into the line out. Well, the first one was a little bit overcooked. Second one seems to be okay. Santu Shalgama comes in very fast. Good support play there by uh, Trehan. In fact, like, you know, Imesh Nisanayaka. And it's a turnover. Patan a kick and chase. But it seems like a knock forward. Referee have to bring back play. Well, that was a lucky occasion for the Joes. Yeah, I think uh, these these boys are trying to throw the 50-50 uh, pass too often. And uh, that's what's uh, causing them to drop the ball and lose the ball uh, on uh, so many occasions. But uh, now again, it's uh, some attacking uh, position for St. Joseph's College. And it uh, looks like uh, they will be uh, aiming, uh, d they will be uh, going to run the ball with uh, the fly half as well. Joining uh, the line onto the uh, right hand side, so a s uh, an even split of three players on each side <laughs> of the scrum. Yep, Algama is in the center, then Disanaika and Stop! Ikarak on both sides. Algama opting to go on the blind, and he's got Disanaika, doesn't collect cleanly. First knock, second knock. First knock. Well, in fact, that was Sudara Kadeva Priya who was charging in. Again, another good line there by this time by the Josephian. 
And again, the same result as uh, the Isi Patana lad does not manage to hold on to the ball and uh, gives away, hands away position. Coach! It's quite uh, surprising to see that uh, there is uh, not too much of uh, spectators here at uh, the Royal Complex. And thanks to Papare, we're all watching from home, aren't they? <laughs> well, that's the beauty of Papare, bring you the live event exclusively on your screens. And once again, Patana opting to go up and high. The referee says shoulder, so go forward, carry on playing. And you see Patana securing that ball. And the big lad, Sarindu. And this time, once again, put the ball back into the Joe's territory. Charging down there is Ruberu and this Anaika. And he'll back. In trouble, he has to release it. Good charge there by Manilka Ruberu and Manuel Ratnaika. Put the Joe's in trouble. Under pressure once again, Joe's, but managed to secure the ball. Beautiful recycling. Trying to get out of trouble. Algama has to kick that ball out, opting to go to the open side. And there they have Nadine Basik, good collection. And beautiful run, going freely. The partner number six, he's got numbers. Look at that boy. What a beautiful run. Janit Serasinga. He just took those defenders on the way. And made the defenders look like spectators Please. instead of players. Please. Pretty much 40 meters gained. Beautiful learning. The pattern on charge. No has, no has, rock, rock. St. Joseph's defending really hard. But can they stop this move? You see Patana charging forward. They got numbers coming in. Support play beautifully done by their forwards. And beautiful organizing by Rashin Gunavardana for the defence uh, and Johan Ratnavir Offside. on the other side, his counterpart and sending it out, opting to kick, that's not going to be a good one should I work that ball? Yeah, penalty. Kailan, you Katora Yes, uh, St. Joseph's College penalised for their Side. line being offside and uh, now straight away Isipatana College on the attack. Well, all of that happened uh, thanks to uh, Janit Serasinga's uh, lovely uh, run. He just uh, sliced through the Josephian defence as there was uh, no one uh, to stop him. Unfortunately, he did. But however, he did have the uh, support on the outside. Say if no. he just straightened and uh, gave that final pass, I think uh, his win three would have been in the corner, over in the corner. But unfortunately, he just held on to the ball and... Uh, did uh, go into contact, but still, having said that, Isipatana College with a, a five meter line out. Well, Sarindu with the ball. Good. Beautiful take. Ball Nicely from. taken there by Surya the Danangoda. Isipatana trying that ball. And beautiful stuff. It's too close. The ball is secured, but still, they have to work that ball to get that five points. They got inside player coming in. And Josia guiding that player towards the line. And once again, this is going to be the first try coming in for... Ramit Himash. Nicely working that line. Manil Karuberu, Manuel Ratnaika and Ramita Himash combining beautifully. And Kailan Katora scoring that try. Yes, indeed. I think... Uh it was all uh, created there by the inside pass uh, from uh, Manil Karuberu. As he gave that inside pass, the defenders were wondering whether they will go back onto the uh, side that they came from. But instead, uh, the scrum half went with uh, the same side of play onto the uh, right-hand side, onto the near touchline. And uh, the when the last pass was uh, re received by Kailan, well, he was inside uh, the in goal and he had to just uh, dot down for the opening try of the game. So Manuel Karuberu trying his luck with the boots. Can he add that two extra points, which is very vital and crucial? 5-3, Isipatana leading for the first time. Beautiful work. St. Joseph's got so many players sucked into that rock. Beautiful kick. Nicely done. Two more points added for Isipatana. 7-3 is the score. 
Manuel Caribeiro leading his team beautifully. What a finish. Yes, indeed. And I think Isipatana, this will calm a lot of nerves for Isipatana. They were a bit uh, shaky. And uh, now with the try under their belt and points on the board, I think uh, something to build on for. Well, Romario, even though they were shaky, their defence has been pretty good. They were not allowing Joes to penetrate into their territory. They have managed to keep them out. And good restart. Yes, yes, yes. The ball dropped there. <laughs> a little bit of shoving and pushing. Between the try scorer Kailan and Shevan Gregory. So referee is having a chat with the AR to ensure that the ball is right. Yes, seems like a good call. Mark here. has made the right call. So there's a lot of criticism going on about the referees. But if you look at the referees, they have made some fantastic calls and equally some poor calls as well. So what happens is all these poor calls get highlighted. So that's where they get their beat. <laughs> only thing is they have to understand Sri Lanka schools I rugby is high standards. And it's a very fast game. So they have to live up to it. So the referees have to maintain consistency as well. Right. So I'm sure they're working towards that. Scrums have uh, been uh, plentiful in this game. Both teams just uh, failing to hang on to possession. Another yeah. scrum this time for St. Joseph's inside uh, the, the opposition. Stay by, stay by. Stay by. Stay by. Not the right thing to do. I guess that's what. So penalty for St. Joseph's. Well, interestingly, instead of going for the post, opting to go for touch. Yeah, I think uh, going behind, uh, falling back on the scoreboard with a try has uh, influenced the Josephians. But it's still early doors and I think uh, it would have been uh, good if they had got, got the points. But uh, instead, uh, the captain decides to go for the uh, try line, the touch line rather. Oh, short line out, beautifully taken. But the no, call no, has no. been brought down. Not sure what the referee's call is going to be, but then again, Joe's forwards are trying to push there. Chevron Gregory teaming up with Rishom Tangaya. But Patana holding up nicely, once again, pushing through the forwards. They're getting closer, yard by yard, inch by inch. Once again, this time. They managed to drive a good right. five to seven yards. Beautiful play by the Jews forward. Patana defense looking a little bit shaky. But good ball collected. Sending it out to Sudarshana Devapriya. He's been held back. He goes into contact. This is Patana defense charging in. And once again, the big lad this time, Nehan Pereira. Trying to forward, push forward. Good offload. Joe's got numbers, but instead of. Offloading it, he opting to go inside, cut inside, but again it's a back pass. And seems like a forward pass. Oh, the, all the hard work goes down the drain in vain. Could I gone for the Marky. move to be completed? The wings he could have taken it and gone into contact in the corner and they would have rebuilt the second phase from there. But good defence coming in there from Patana. Yes, and as I mentioned earlier, the 50-50 uh, ball thrown on uh, too many occasions and then again you, you saw St. Joseph's College, uh, the player did not uh, go into contact and uh, look to recycle, but uh, threw the 50-50 ball and uh, loses possession. Johan Ratnavira with the... Kailan Kaurav standing there to clear that. Seems like an easy kick for him, put the ball up in the air, doesn't find touch. It's going to fall into the Joe's hands. Yes, good collection there by Ruchira Ekanayaka. Doesn't make mistake. But goes into contact. 
Nice hands. Once again, these forwards are lying like three quarters and they got beautiful footwork. After to go for a punt. Once again, held by Nicky, no, has to high. the ball. Well, it seems like a high tackle. I'm not sure whether it was high tackle because the player was going down and equally the Super player also went. So it seems like a 50-50 call. But again, referee could have seen it better. So it's penalty for St. Joseph's for that high tackle. Yeah, I think uh, this Josephian player did uh, slip and that's, that what, that's what made it look a bit worse than it uh, seemed. But still, uh, even if the player slips or even if the player goes low, it's but the uh, duty of the player who comes in to tackle the player to not touch the neck or head area and uh, anything over the shoulder will be penalised and uh, that's what uh, the referee decided. High tackle! So that's Sudar to Deo Priya who went down. And Joe's once again, they got a lease of... New lease of life fly to get out of trouble. Opting to go the other way around. It's an aimless kick. Doesn't make sense. And good collection there by Ramit, Ramit Himesh. He's trying to dodge in. Good football coming in there, but seems like a turnover ball. Patana. Oh no, it's still Patana. Oh, no, no. They got plenty of numbers. Good collection there by Manil Karuberu. Kicking it inside. Not finding people to charge it down. It seems like uh, going to be a dead ball. Yes, it is a known try. Unintentional move. 20. Ruberu could have offloaded to the, his closest player. But instead, he wanted to send the ball into the no man's land. Assuming his three quarters or the blind guy will be charging in, but didn't work well. I think it would, it would have been the better option to just hold on to position and build on for the next phase. But he took the 50 50 uh, gamble and uh, unfortunately it did not work out well. And the restart <laughs> trying to go flat and deep. Yeah, yeah, going for that ball, beautiful bounce coming back to the Patana players. Good collection there by Venera Kodagoda. He collects it. In fact, Pasan Bizanaika. Release! He's been brought down. Patana got numbers to the right, and that's the big lad. And beautiful run there by Ramit Himasha. Himasha going for try number two for Isi Patana. Beautiful step inside. Makes no mistake. And that try was long coming, wasn't it? Yes, indeed. A lovely bit of uh, finishing there by uh, the win three quarter. And uh, uh, all credit should go to the uh, centre as well. He straightened the line, committed the final man and uh, passed at the correct moment. And uh, the win three quarter, as always, wingers love to finish. Stepped inside and made no mistake. When you get the ball on a one-on-one -on -one situation with a win three and you have space and he's already on the move, but you don't need much invitation, do you? Yes, indeed. And uh, he just uh, showed why. And uh, Spatan College with their second try and uh, Ejin uh, further ahead. Well, Manil Karuberu. With the conversion, he's got a 100% record so far. One out of one. And second one as he pulled it in. Seems like through. Made it look so easy. Two more added, brother. 14 points to three is uh, what the scoreboard reads. And I, now I think uh, St. Joseph's College must be kicking themselves for not taking that penalty where they decided to go for the uh, touchline. But uh, having said that, now they just need to regroup and uh, get things right from this uh, restart. And uh, for Isipatana, they should just look to collect the restart. And if it's inside the 22, they need to just get the exit strategy correct. Restart by Russian Gunavardana. Putting it inside, good charge, but good step away as well. No, finish, roll away! Well, there by Daham Rama Vikrama, no, Vikrama Ratna. Putting the ball into deep. The referee says that's okay because the ball falls behind. 
once again and well, I wouldn't say it's a good kick but then again Joe Secure to get that ball good running beautiful can he finish that that's the question nicely done by Ruchi Rekanayaka and they are putting the pattern on pressure beautiful stuff St. Joseph's collecting that ball so deep and playing that ball across the field once again Joe's forwards coming into action there but going into contact so it's a knock forward well very unfortunate knock yes forward. indeed <laughs> unfortunate there for St. Joseph's College and their captain Tarindu Di Alvis I think uh, he was just a bit too eager to collect the ball and uh, he did uh, spot a gap and he was eager to collect it and uh, go through the gap but unfortunately he thought of uh, running before picking up the ball and uh, that's what caused uh, that uh, little uh, knock on but uh, this time around Ekanayaka did not take the 50-50 pass in the corner he went into contact recycled steady, steady. and unfortunately St. Joseph's College did not uh, manage to get an end result out of it Johan Ratnavira with the foot in and clearing it for the try scorer Kylan Well, not much yards gate, but good enough to get out of pressure. Yes, but uh, if it's uh, if you're looking at, looking at it mark. from a Josephian point of view, they'll be really happy. Blue, They're mark. still inside uh, the their opposition the 22, the opposition red zone. So still, there is a possibility of uh, making things oh, work. Oh, oh. But I think they should just look to hang on to position oh. and uh, time off, starve the opposition of it. Uh, the problem is both the occasions Joe's came into the territory. Inside Patana, they were pretty much numbers, unsettled numbers, yeah, even yeah, yeah, before they started a move. Patana was coming into oh, no. some hard defending tactics, so which is quite good. They were pretty much putting Joe's under pressure, and uh, Joe's looks unsettled inside the Patana territory. But this is the first and only occasion I can say they are very much settled and they have a good set play. Can they get that ball? Not a clean one, but still manage to secure it. Beautiful running coming down from the Wings that Sehan Karunaratna. Once again, Joe's forwards. Rock, rock. Good tackle there Step by back. Pahan Vikramaratna. Release! Release! A lot of work being done there by those blue shirts. Carrying that ball. It's a loose ball. Referee says play on. Algama trying to cut through, but he's been brought down. Still, Joe's have the ball. That's the best part. Well, Patana defense crumbling there, but still Joe securing that ball. Beautiful work there by the forwards. They keep pushing, they keep shoving. Inch by inch, they are moving forward. That's going to be pretty frustrating for the green machine. You see Patana forwards trying their level best to stop, but this time opting to work that ball. Good tackle coming in on Ruchi Kanayaka. But the referee sees it, sees it as a bit high and uh, he did put his uh, hand uh, straight away Aye. for the advantage. Unfortunately, that the tackle just uh, slipped tackle. off the shoulder and uh, went to be a seat belt tackle, which you usually call it. And again, it uh, looks like uh, St. Joseph's College are opting to go for the uh, line out. Well, if it is a seat belt tackle, you can't be penalizing that, right? Because seat belts are meant to be very safe, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just a figure of speech, Clifford. <laughs> so 14 3 Patana leading, and Joe's getting in to the Patana territory, and they are getting close. Can they make this count and convert this move into points? So that's the question. We are approaching half time, few more minutes to go. Joe's Ball. getting it nice. Now you can like, vote and share on Clear Men. Try of the week on the championship. You can log into the website. You can watch it on uh, Facebook. And simply like, vote and share. There's a good sack there by uh, Isi Patana College. As the line, line out came down, they did the good work. And now they're still, the defense is still holding on. Well, you can see the counter rock coming in by the green shirts. Not giving much. And the Alvis just goes down the same point, but 
Roll away. These Joe's forwards are stubborn, aren't they? They really want to drill through that defense. Not opting to work that line. Still thinking of going through. Pushing through the forwards. Pick up and run. Pick up and run. Go contact. Pick up and run. That's what they've been doing. Striding forward. Step by step. Beautiful work. They're getting closer inch by inch. St. Joseph driving strongly but steadily. Isipatana trying to defend every inch of their ground. Joes are getting closer. This is not what they want. Isipatana. No Look at that. Few more yards. Few more yards. Can they make it count? The big prop forward, Shevon Veranga, coming in there. Seems like it's a touchdown. It is a touchdown. Shevon Gregory there with the, the try for St. Joseph's College. The first of the game for St. Joseph's College. Good forward play there by uh, the Josephians. Kept it up close and uh, tight. And uh, they inched meter by meter. And uh, finally managed to get through this uh, stubborn uh, Isipatana defense. Yeah, you're spot on. That's what they did. They've been testing the Patana defense taking a lot of time to get there like you said inch by inch stride by stride they've been working that ball from left flank to right flank face after face and best thing is they managed to secure the ball and have position and that's what really frustrated the Patana boys well there you go two more points added yeah it did look like uh, Isipatana College were expecting St. Joseph's College to uh, spread the ball wide but uh, they they were caught a bit off guard and the forwards too Number did one, uh, very up. well holding on Number to position and just taking the ball up and uh, keeping it and securing it and uh, it uh, finally means that uh, St. Joseph's College get their well deserved try and uh, move their score to 10. So 10-14 as Isipatana still uh, continues to lead with uh, little more than uh, 5 minutes left in this game. Well left in the half I would say. And the restart opting to go the other way around and a short one putting a lot of pressure it's a good move fantastic move there by the Patana three quarters opting to go for a short kick while the entire team was expecting the long Mark kick coming in from the standoff yeah these are the little bit of errors that uh, the coach pulled their hair out for well uh, you did uh, everything right you got a score and then you switch off and straight away off after the try Crouch. just hand hand over position to your opposition well it was a bit of an intelligent play by the Sipatana boys opting to go the other way the wrong side and the three quarters charging forward the number eight Rohan Vikramaratna breaking and he's got support there's number 15 coming in that's Ashan Gunavekra and it's a loose ball it's going to be a foot race Coming in for the secure no, 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 is no, no, Ashan no, Gunasekara. No, he managed to hold on to it. Joes are not contesting that. Once again, this time the big lad Sarindu opting to go into contact. And Patana goes contact and they have chance. Opting to go for a touch. Beautiful kick. Beautiful kick. Yes, indeed. A lovely kick there. Finding uh, the space in behind of uh, the St. Joseph's College line. Sudhar Devapri was up in the line. And uh, the Isipatana fly half made no mistake with that uh, pinpoint accurate kick. Take your mark, there you go. You Visit mark. our YouTube channel for replays, highlights and mark. more. Well, there you go. You can see that. www.theyoutube.com slash the Papare official. All what you have to do is... Just click that small little bell and subscribe and you'll get those alerts, replays, highlights and much more on www.thepuffery YouTube channel. Well, as we speak, St. Joseph's getting that scrum right or rather the line out right. So they managed to secure the ball. It's their line out and opting to go. Algama has to put the ball back in but again it's an aimless kick. Aimless kick, he was not under pressure, just gifting that ball away. Either you should find touch or should go for the post, but seems like a turnover. No, it's not. Quickly taken. Number six. 
Well, yeah. Clifford, aimless no, seems to be the not correct to word to uh, describe that kick from uh, Santosh Agama. He did uh, the he have uh, the uh, chance to go out on uh, the full, but opted against it. And uh, well, uh, that kick went into no man's land and uh, it was well collected and counter-attacked. Hopefully for the uh, player who uh, ran the ball back, he's not, not, not done too much damage to his ankle. Thankfully for uh, Santush though, well, lo looks like he's just having some ice on his knee. I think a bit of a, an awkward uh, fall. Luckily for Santush, uh, there was a chaser on that kick and uh, he was uh, brought down. But uh, this Ipatan player just uh, finding it a bit difficult. Well, uh, I guess if I'm not mistaken, that's Ashan Gunasekara who's been charging down with that ball. Well, there's been a change. Manoj Gautam has come in, number 16, have to see who has he replaced. Time on. So yes, Ashan Gunasekar is the player who is number injured. Number 14, number 14, not stay on your feet. So opting to go for the touch. So I think Robin Bandar has been replaced if I'm not mistaken. Manoj Gautam this is the has been replaced, or rather has come in as a replacement. Yes. No, I guess Venra Kodagoda has been replaced. Yes, Venra Kodagoda. So clean line out there by Izzy Patana. Oh, it's a knock forward. Why, well, it's the cheekiest thing to do. Your player collects the line out and he has the ball in hand. Why do you want to go and grab it? Yeah, well, uh, usually the, the coaches say you need to go and uh, secure the ball. But unfortunately, on that occasion, I think he tried to secure the ball uh, too carefully and uh, loses it in uh, the meantime. And a little bit of a scuffle going on in back play. And uh, the referee was also on hand to see that little little Captain, knock on. Captain! And, uh, Captain! Yeah, he was just right there in front of him. It happened and well, just get back. it's just a spot get back. on good call. Yeah, no, 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 no. A bit of a word with the two captains saying that uh, we have had a good game. You're right, okay. Let's just uh, you make a move around. Finish off this uh, first half. Right, okay. As it has uh, been Time on. smoothly, though there have been uh, a few uh, not handling Mark errors here. by both sides. Well, the keepers, Janit Serasinga and Tarandudi always both knows the temperament of this game. And it's going to be a close call. And so far, it's been a close encounter. 14-10, just four points, or rather, just one score away for St. Joseph's. And once again, St. Joseph's can count themselves lucky. So, an opportunity granted for the blue jerseys to get out of jail. Not in. Come again. Good intelligent play there by uh, Russian Gunavadana. He fed the ball into the scrum, but it came out from the same uh, place where he fed it. And he did not go to put his hands and uh, just concede a penalty. Just to show the referee that he did not go into the tunnel. And uh, hence the reset. Set! Steady! Yeah, sensible thing to do. Step back! No, 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 wait. Well, it seems like a clean scrum. Joe's getting it and Algam opted to go for the kick. This time, well, this time seems like a decent one. Yes, he finds half touch. Time. And that's the half time. We thought for a moment, because of this heat, we're going to have a 20 minutes break during the 20th minute, but it didn't work well. But I think themes are okay, so going into half time. Yes, indeed. I think uh, it has been a bit of a, a scrappy start with uh, both teams just uh, having uh, butter fingers in the start of the half. But uh, Isipatana College scored two tries and uh, St. Joseph's College replied with a try of their own. So the halftime score here at uh, the Royal Complex. St. Joseph's College trailing Isipatana 10-14 in the third quarter-final of the uh, Milo Knockouts Trophy.
I have news. Let's meet. To be a man is to sweat for every last inch of it. The harder you push yourself, the louder your body will protest. From sweat to grease, grease to dandruff. Fight back with Clear Men. Two times the fighting power of ordinary shampoos. Beat grease, beat dandruff. Unbeatable performance for the unbeatable man. Power for the odds. Clear, zero dandruff, nothing to hide. You call it warmth. When you reveal your deepest emotions, it's not just art, it's freedom. And when its essence is premium cocoa butter, it's not just chocolate, it's Ravello. Chocolate so special, you call it Ravello. Echo the voices of fun. Fashion inspired by emotion. Glitz, the fashion destination. I start each day with a dream, a dream to win. Training, working hard, rain. How strong the other team is, nothing can stop me. Nourishing Milo with its unique combination of chocolate, malted barley and B vitamins. Together with the goodness of milk, brings out the winner in you. Milo, fueling the winning spirit. Nestle, good food, good life. පොල්ලටි ගහන හැටි දැකලා තියනවද? හැබැයි කලාවට හයේ වග ගහන හැටි දැකලා තියනවද? අන්න ඒකයි. ක්‍රීඩාව කියන්නේ කලාවක්. ඔන්න ඔය කලාව අල්ල ගන්න පුළුවන් ක්‍රීඩා කලාකාරයෙකුට අපේ වේදිකාවේ ඉඩ අරින්නයි අපි මේ හදන්නේ. සමාජ ජාලා ගැන හොඳ අවබෝධයක් තියෙන. ක්‍රීඩාව ගැන ඊටත් වඩා හොඳ අවබෝධයක් තියෙන. මේ දෙකම නිර්මාණශීලීව වෙලාවට කලාවට කරන්න පුළුවන් කෙනෙකුට ද පපරේ සිංහල page එක බාර දෙන්න අපි සූදානම්. කැමතිද? අපිට කතා කරන්න. මේ තියෙන්නේ අපේ email එක. මේ තියෙන්නේ අපේ hotline එක. ुमीरी <laughs> 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 
दावस पुरा गतक दन्ने न मिही रख बुबुदा होंदम मैली बंटे कहाँ तक पदम नियम में तरस समग्र मुसुना मैली बंटे एक कहाँ पे दावस रस होना पदम वारु दे कहाँ तक पदम नियम में तरस समग्र मुसुना मैली बंटे पदम बंटे कहाँ तक I have news. Let's meet. Welcome back. You're watching the Milo President's Knockout Trophy, the third quarterfinals. Isi Patna taking on Saint Joseph's live and exclusively. From the Royal Sports Complex on www.thepapre.com, going into halftime, Isi Patna leading 14 points to 10, two goals against one goal and a penalty for St Joseph's. And the, so far, the first half, but it's been—I wouldn't say it's an exciting half, but then again, even though points been scored, it's good enough, but not that electrifying rugby what we expected. Probably they are saving it for the last few minutes. Yes, indeed. Hopefully, if you are a fan, you will be ha hoping that uh, they would be saving it for the uh, last few minutes. But having said that, St. Joseph's College with a good exit of the uh, kickoff from the second half. And now, Isipatana in their own half, building on. Beautiful there. Yeah. Nicely worked. Can see those three quarters charging in. And good collection, good hands. I just said good collection. Probably the commentator's curse. And that didn't go well for... Dahan Vikramaratna. A moment too early and uh, a little bit of a pattern, just like in the first half, first two minutes, first minute, uh, a scrum. So just took his eyes off the ball, assuming that he was going into contact. I think he did uh, see the defender in uh, his peripheral vision, and I think that's what uh, he just uh, took his eye off the ball and uh, left it behind. Oh, there you go. Once again, good strum this time. Rashan standing back and allowing Tarandudi always to collect it. Well, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> but maybe it's a close one. Maybe it's a close one. He took his time, delayed the pass till the last moment. And unfortunately, in the eyes of the referee, it was forward and he calls back play. He's just around there, so he can see it better. I'm sure Joe's going to be really going to have a chat on these all these misses. I think uh, they'll be hoping that it doesn't come back uh, to bite them the end of the game. Well, whoever wins will go on to play another game, but whoever loses, that's going to be the end of their season. And both these players, set of players, well, once again, as we speak, nicely put forward. It's a knock forward. Patana on the charge. Beautiful running there. Good work there by Ruberu. In fact, like, you know, Manuel Ratnayaka coming into touch. And it's a turnover ball. Referee says play on. There's no mistakes with that. Good kick coming in. Return kick. Beautifully sunk. Nicely sunk into touch. Quickly taken as well. Now we are getting some little bit of pace in this game. Isi Patana going for that long balls, but again opting to cut inside will be the Nadine Basuk's mode. He's waiting for that ball to come. No, not releasing it. So therefore, opportunity for St. Joseph's. Yes. What a mistake. What yeah. a mistake. Indeed, a great call there by the referee. The last man coming on your screen uh, did uh, go off his feet and uh, seal it. And uh, that's why uh, the, the, the opposition had an opportunity to play the ball. And uh, rightly so, the referee penalizes uh, for uh, as uh, Janit Sarah Singh uh, sealed the ruck. He did not support his body weight. And uh, did the Santosh Agama find a touch? Yes, he has found a touch. Flag goes up. A uh, good touch finder from inside their own 22 comes uh, back into the, uh, the opposition half. Well, Algam opting to always go very flat instead of going for long lob kick. 
He just stopped in to go flat and this time he was very successful. So Josephians come, right, uh, in fact Josephian throw in a line out right in front of us. Good one, cleanly collected, the big lad coming in, pushing forward, that's Nehan Pereira. Once again, good hands, beautiful stuff. This is what Joes did in the first half to get those points, beautiful. Good interception, but unfortunately missed it. That was close. Yes, indeed. Well, was that pass thrown a bit too early on the location? Could have hung on to it. He had a bit of uh, open here. field in front of him, but he decided and threw the pass. Unfortunately, the winger left it behind. Scum. So, Joe's again missing an opportunity. Because he's a three quarter. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that was Manuel Ratnayaka. He shot forward in. Yes, and he created the dog leg because he shot forward. Boy. But unfortunately, St. Jo Joseph's College did not uh, manage to exploit it. Restart with the scrum. Isipatana securing that ball. Number eight breaking free. That is Dahan Vikram Ratna. He's been brought down. Going into contact. And Ratnavira sending it out to Ashan uh, Aaron. In fact, like you know, Ashan Gunasekara. Oh, he says, thank you, beautifully collected, Ashan Gunasekara, in fact, like Ramit Thimash, and Basik, good tackle coming in for Basik, nicely picked up, Isipatana coming in on numbers for the support play, they got plenty of players on the left, and nicely cut in there by Gautam, but good hands, quick hands, oh, the tackle coming in, well, it's knocked forward, well, one too many passes, but quick hands, beautiful passage of play there by Izzy Patana. Very unfortunate for number not converting them into points. Number six. But other than the rest of the three quarters, six, punched please. up very well and piled up that pressure on uh, Joe's and driving forward. They're inches away from the touchline, and St. Joseph survived with a scrum. Yes, indeed. I think Kamandra uh, Ratnaga, he did uh, find himself unfortunately out of position there on the wing, but he did uh, pop uh, a good inside pass. But uh, if he had a bit of speed, he could have uh, tested the Josephian defence on the edge. But unfortunately, the pass inside was left back again. So, another handling error. And the, the scrums continue in this game. Set. Steady. Well, Russian Gunasekara. Gunawardhan, in fact. Be mine, be mine. Looking for Algama. Algama this time also. Not opting to go for a flat one, just going for the touch because he can't go for a flat kick because the player was charging down, if I'm not mistaken, that is Ravin Bandara and Janit Serasinghe, both were charging down. Yes, uh, they were wearing down his neck and he just had uh, just enough time to put ball to boot or rather boot to ball and a fine touch but still St. Joseph's College under the pump. Venera Koda got with the throw in. A little bit of chit chat there between Venera and Saridu. Center mark. This, this is center mark. Opting to go for the long Ball. throw. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. The driving mall was brought down. And yes. well, a little bit of miscalculation or rather timing. Not collecting that ball. A uh, little bit of an error, handling error, causing it a knock forward. So Isipatana once again losing an opportunity. They have been they've been putting pressure on the second half because this is the probably the fourth move Number back to back team. coming inside the <laughs> Joe's territory. <laughs> Joe's <laughs> have been struggling to get out of jail or rather their own territory. But a couple of occasions the kicks didn't help them. But let's see. Yeah, you use the correct word there, time in. I think uh, the player ju was just uh, a bit uh, too flat and he ran a bit in front and uh, the, the pass wasn't timed and so wasn't the run and hence leaving the ball behind. The always opting to pick up, yes, scrum off joining the line, opting to go for the kick, 
Has it found touch or has it gone out on full? Seems like it has gone out on full. Well, I wonder why Rashen Gunavardhan has to join in and kick. Santu Jalgamon is there anyways. And he's got plenty of time to kick. Yes, indeed. I think uh, he should have either sent it uh, through the hands or given it to the uh, fly half to do the kick in. But instead, uh, he opted uh, for the kick and uh, did not uh, go the way he expected it. So what they have done this time, St. Joseph's, they have brought back the play to the same place where they started and given the ball back to Isipatana. That's going to be the costly. Yeah, well, they will, be hope, they will be hoping that it won't be costly. But uh, Isipatana College with another line out in attack in prime territory. Good collection. Managed to secure the skipper going in there for contact. Janik Seyrasinghe. Pushing it forward. Seems like a turnover ball for Joes. It's a knock forward. Well, Joes won the ball back. It's a strange thing. Patana driving forward and step by step they were taking it with the forwards. And they hand over the ball back to Joes and they knock it. So, it seems like this game is swinging both ways. Yeah, and I think uh, the teams are finding ways in which to concede position. Well, the coaching staff will be pulling their hair out again. And uh, talking about the coaching staff, I think there has been some a few changes Five. happening in the, the Zipat and the backroom staff. Set. With uh, Henry and uh, Costa departing. And, uh, oh, Isipat and Scrum turnover there by Joes. Joes won it. And they have numbers. But good defence coming in there from... Manula Ratnayaka and St. Joseph's knock on yet again. So they have Both to captain. fix these handling Both errors. The, the forwards are working really hard to get that ball, and suddenly it's going to be a turnover now. Good defense they are coming in because if you look at it, this starting from Kailan and Nadine. Uh, Pasik, who is playing on the wing, who has been charging down, along with Manuel Maruberu and Manuel Ratnay have been a lively figure for Isipatana so far. And also Ramit, uh, Ramit Ahimash, along with Ashan Gunasekra. Well, these four to five lads have been very lively from, from the very first whistle. And they've been giving everything, they've been charging, tackling, running with the ball, but they have to make those moves count. But on the other hand, Joes, they are putting okay. up a decent defender as well. So far defending quite good in the second half, not giving much away. I think the, uh, I think both teams' uh, defences have been aided by the uh, number of uh, knock-ons as well. Coach! So Dinit Bhagya coming in for Mohan Ratnavira. So scrum half has been replaced. They'll be hoping to bring a bit of uh, speed into the game. Straight away though, Isipatana College concede a penalty from the scrum and uh, now St. Joseph's College should just uh, look to put the ball into touch and uh, settle things down a bit and uh, restart from there. Well, seems like a decent kick. Yes, it is a good one. Beautiful kicking there by Algama this time. Santu Shalgama. So about 30 yards he has brought his team back and in front in fact and also about 15 yards, 15 meters inside the Patana territory. So line out. Good throw, cleanly collected. Joe's often to keep it inside instead of sending it out. They want to try their luck with the forwards. It seems like a rolling ball forming in. It's a bit of dangerous play there by uh, the Isipatan lads. Lifting the legs of the jumper. I think uh, the referee told him to put it down, but he did not listen. And he continued to, to do so. And that's why I think the referee has been uh, just calling him and having a bit of a word. आगे प्लेयर तो यह इनफॉर्म करने 
क्या गहन में तू सेलन करने के लिए मांग मिलना बाला थैंक यू सर क्या नहीं सर वहाँ तो मोल लेके दी उसान राइट टू गो आउट वाल इट्स ऑब्वियस येलो कार्ड बाय मोनुष गाउटम गोइंग आउट विथ दैट the third official or rather the fourth official adams managing the infringements or well, rather the cards well now this is uh, the prime time for st joseph's college to just uh, make something out of this they have the advantage with uh, the numbers on the field i think if the player just stopped when the referee told him to do so and just put the put his opposition's feet down okay, good. he would have uh, not seen ball yellow. from ball well good collection this time once again joe's going with that rolling ball and good held up but again that's the breakaway ball and is it struggling to defend that seems like joe's are going through while well, they are pushing them sideways they have to pull themselves together and bring it back in is it a held up ball seems like a held up yes good defense there by joe's uh, isi patana well once again scrum quickly taken he's been held back good defense going into contact and once again passing to disanayaka this time pushing forward once again held back nicely held up isi patana defense coming in everyone rescuing line. almost 10 nice. points out of that back to back to Yes, indeed. I think uh, good uh, momentum shown there by the uh, defenders to just uh, stop both uh, charges from uh, Saint Joseph's College. First, the number nine, and uh, the second time around, it was the try scorer Shevon Gregory who tried to just pick and barge his way through, but unfortunately, he was held up. So now the numbers will have to be matched in the uh, scrum as uh, the yellow card, yellow carded player from Isipatana is a uh, forward. Coach. So now this is a Boy. good opportunity with the eight and the twelve for Saint Joseph stand, standing in a short. There's no doubt run hard and straight at the line. Well, I think he was slightly offside because he was standing in front of the fly half. Okay, quick hands, good tackle coming in. Beautifully pushed back. Dinit Borgoda. In fact, Dinit Bagya. Joseph opting to go on the blind no, side once again. Nicely blocked. No, no, has no. Real hard defense. Good communication between the Patana boys there. Once again, there. No, 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 no. This time committing so much is passing to the Sanayaka for that tackle. And Joseph, have they gone through? No, it's too no, close. No, no. This is what they did well for their first try in Joseph's College. No fighting. Once again, Joseph's opting to go with the forwards, and but this time they make some ground, but not good enough to get that five points. So close. Just one more move probably could finish that move off. But Patana, they have other ideas. Not letting those boys pass through. Pushing forward, defending hard on both sides. They are coming release, in. Release. This time committing was Sarindu. One step back, one step back, number two. Joe still have the ball. And have they scored? Not yet. Trying very, very hard. They have to get that ball out and send it to the three quarters. Or if not, probably they might kill this. But on the other hand, they have other ideas. They want to go with the forwards once again. The pushing forward. Look at that DC Patan defense. Not giving up anything. They are really, really fast. They're blocking each and every move. Not committing any errors. Not conceding any penalties. That's the beauty about it. And Joe's also concentration is very much highly needed. They're putting each and every possible move to take it forward. And this time the try is scored. And once again, no, 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 no. That's the Get back, big glad. Shevon Gregory yes. scoring his second try of the game. Yes, indeed. Uh, St. Joseph's College opted to go for the pick and go. It did uh, do this, do prove uh, the same manner in the first half. And uh, yet again, in a similar fashion, Shevon Gregory scores off a pick and go and uh, silences the Isipathana crowd. And now, Santu Shalgama 
well kicks from under the post and uh, extends the lead further 17 points to 14 and now isipadana college are chasing the game yeah beautiful try there by joes it's a team effort the forwards really worked hard they had to maintain that concentration Number they did it nicely up. without causing Number any or are they committing for any errors and Isipatana also did defend very well but Shevan Gregory's powerful drive was too much for the defenders of the St. Joseph's College did suck in the defense and they had the opportunity to go out wide as well but uh, they stuck to what uh, they knew and uh, it proved its worth Sipatana with the restart opted to go deep but Return kick seems to be a good one. A massive one. A massive, massive kick. Beautiful one. 17-14. Joe's leading. Very good uh, touch finder there. Good exit strategy by uh, the experienced scrum of uh, Rashe and Gunavadana. St. Joseph's College did not uh, switch off after the try. Did not switch off after scoring. And... Uh, Straight away into the uh, Isipatana half and now the onus is on Isipatana to win their own line out inside their own half. True enough. Good so good throw. Collects it cleanly but not the delivery but managed to secure it still Isipatana. Highland opting to go up and under. Oh, it's kick and chase. Seems like Patan on the move. Can this be stopped? Beautiful stuff. Izzy Patan saw that loose ball coming. It's a knock forward. And nobody is there to collect it. What a mistake there by Aaron Pereira. Not collecting it cleanly. And let that ball go off. And it's a knock forward. And referee gave advantage for Patana, who was kicking and doing a foot race. But then again, unfortunately, they were unable to collect it. If not, it would have been five more points added for Patana. Yes, but and Aaron, he did chase back his uh, own mistake. He first let it just drop. He dropped the ball and just switched off. And that's what. That's why uh, he had to chase back. And thankfully for him, he did not uh, concede five points. But still, Isi Patana College. Now on the attack, again still inside uh, the, the opposite Rose. half and uh, so you can see Set. all uh, the defenders bar the uh, full back is on the line, up in the line rather for St. Joseph's. Again. Yes and you can catch all the news, updates, photos, videos and reports of the uh, final game as Sri Lanka take on uh, India in uh, the uh, Cricket World Cup played in England and Wales on www.thepowerhead.com slash cwc19 Supana trailing by three points 56 minutes already on the clock and scrum in favour of Isipatana inside Joe's territory with the ball sending it in comes in nicely the, through the channel well, well 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 we have to wait and see i'm not sure whether it was a knock forward he held on to it nicely for a moment i thought it's knock forward but it wasn't but probably referee would have seen something better so 14 17 same place same scrum Yes, and but this time throw in by St. Joseph's. Yes, and the St. Joseph's College make a change. We hunger. Okay. Pereira comes in as uh, Nehan Pereira, the hard working flanker, is uh, at the end of his uh, day today. So he'll be uh, quite pleased with uh, his performance. And uh, one hard hitting scrum off, uh, the flanker replaces another. Uh, that was a very lethargic offload, but managed to hang on to it. No, no. The blue shirts opting to go from the blind side. 
They're gradually getting there. Their forwards have been absolute class today. Managed no, to no. get two tries on the board to put their team. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Number two. Not supporting body weight. Yeah, so they managed to get their team on the board. St. Joseph's, two beautiful tries by Siobhan, Siobhan Gregory. Incidentally, he's the brother of uh, Stefan Gregory, the Navy player, the Navy prop forward. Yellow, number 16. So both the brothers playing in front row. And Joe's won a contest, in fact, the penalty and opted to go for touch. And seems like a decent kick. Managed to penetrate back into the Patana territory. So, Isi Patana trailing by three points. 17-14. And good line out. Doesn't collect clean. Isi Patana has the ball. Not good low floats, but then again, managed to secure it. Referee still playing. Advantage. Ball in favor of Isi Patana. Good quick hands, off road coming in. Good tackle. Nicely picked up there by Surya. No, 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 no. Goda Bagya doing a wonderful job. Beautiful off road. And good collection there by Janit Sera Singha. And he goes into touch. Well, for some reason, the ARs look very lethargic. They're not there to spot the ball. They just arrive after the players arrive. No, that shouldn't be the case. You have to move along with the play. Yeah, and you can get all these stats with in an in-depth look at uh, schools rugby. Facts and figures on uh, stats.thepapare.com. As uh, St. Joseph's College prepare for yet another line out. Well, this uh, second half too has been quite a stop-start uh, affair. Neither team managing to no, no, don't close the gap. press on from the momentum they get. Well, Romario is one too many errors there. No, no. And that's going Keep to... Oh, Keep you can't down. leave the player, but it, they have done it. Has he been brought out? But then again, no. Isipatana still has the ball. I'm trying to secure that. You can see referees pointing out the ball. Take your hands. Keep your line. Move forward. Yes, it's a penalty. He's been warning. He's been screaming his heart out, the referee. Hands off. Hands off. That's the discipline I think uh, the, the school boys lack, unfortunately. When they hear the referee, they need to just take their hands off and uh, spread out and play the game rather than infringing and uh, conceding a penalty. And... Uh, even on that occasion, again, uh, Chevron Gregory, he did hear the referee, but uh, he continued to put his hand. And after the referee had blown the whistle, he's asking the referee, why? Why me, ref? Number one. Oh. Well, in the meantime, Patana taking that kick nicely, gaining about good 25 meters. You, ma you, ma I'll take you, ma and Coming with the line out. You see, Patana line outs have been pretty decent today. And they have, or rather, I would say they had some fruitful line outs. They managed to secure almost everything. Yes, indeed, compared to the Josephian line outs, they have uh, lost quite a few. But uh, just as we speak, Clifford, uh, the commentators curse, and the line out goes astray. And uh, it's uh, a scrum for St. Joseph's College. Seventeen fourteen. No Still straight, about no nine minutes on the clock. No, no, well, no it's straight. our clock, but we have to wait for the referee's clock. Probably, like you know, could be a few seconds or a minute or two might be different. But on the other hand, yes, 61 or other, almost 62 minutes on the clock. 17 14. And we are in the final lap of the game, if you would ask me. Last 10 minutes, three points separating the two teams. So everything to play for still in this game and the losers know that their season that will be an end to their season so that will be an added coach good scrum once again 
Joseph's with the ball. Set. They have the Steady. lead. All what they Steady. have to do is keep that ball Steady. and work that Steady. around. Steady. Having possession is important, especially against a side like Isipatana. But it's a turnover scrum. Isipatana turned that scrum around beautifully. And they got numbers opting to go. And beautiful offload. Nadine Baskin, can he finish it off? No, he's been brought down. Good tackle coming in there from Aaron Pereira. But again, putting the hands down. So it's a penalty for Isi Patana. This is going to be crucial. Romario opting to go for the touch. Rubero kicking that ball out on touch. And exactly five meters away. So you can hear a lot of people cheering. Isi Patana fans have woken up now. For the very first time you are hearing that sound. Patana, something nice to hear. And St. Joseph's, even though they have three points lead, they're under pressure, aren't they? Yes, indeed. Uh, under pressure. Just five meters out from their own try line. And the fans chart in Patana, Patana. So I think uh, Patana will be on with momentum. And they form them all. Oh, you can see the entire team coming in there for Patana. And they score! This and didn't make any mistake good bit of play there Venura Koda got a scoring that try good line out clean line out we spoke about it it was a dangerous one for St. Joseph's and St. Joseph's I wouldn't say they had done anything wrong to defend that they had numbers but in the end you had more players coming in from Patana from the line also the three quarters joining in and shoving that white ball over that line and getting that five points yes and highly crucial yes and the st joseph's college uh, defense just unfortunately cracked under pressure and they could not uh, go lower than their opposition and uh, defend them all and instead they concede the five points and a crucial conversion coming in here by uh, manuel Rubero. well the ever experienced manuel Rubero. He has to score. Just one point lead at the moment. If he scores, it'll be three. Still, Joe's need another score away. I'm trying to go for it. Has he pulled it in? No. No. So it's just only a point lead. Yes, and the game uh, is getting tighter and tighter by the minute. As uh, is he Patana College? Well, it's a two-point lead, rather. Continue to lead St. Joseph's College by two points. Rashain Gunavadana to take the restart. 17-19, two points lead. Had they scored that conversion, they have to force St. Joseph's to go and score a try. Well, now it's a chance for St. Joseph's. Even if they go for a drop goal, that's good enough for them. So I'm sure probably they might try that. Yes, but having said that, they have a little bit more than four minutes left to push for the try or, or even push for a penalty in the red zone. And the Isipatana players will know that discipline is paramount at this moment. And they can't let it drop, let their discipline drop. Well, they have to be, they have to be disciplined. Well, the warning goes out to a partner player. Yep, opting to go for a six-man line out. Good contest. But Joe's ultimately winning that. Now the Joe's forward, they'll be doing their trick. Opting to go with that rolling mall. They got numbers coming in to support. But brought down. Good contest going on there. But again, like you said, Isipata have to maintain discipline now. This is very difficult times. No, no, no. No hands. Shouldn't be doing that. Yes, that, that's Release just a waste of energy. They need to just uh, spread out and uh, defend. But having said that, looks like it has been turned over. Beautifully stolen there by Manoj. Manoj Gautam. 
Good work there. So they turned it around, Isi Patana. Yes, indeed, they turned it around. A good steal there by Manoj. And after that, uh, St. Joseph's College steal it illegally on the floor. So hence the penalty for Isi Patana College. Now they just need to find touch, regroup and hold on to possession. They have a little bit under three minutes Blue left. Here. Well, that's on our clock, of course. Uh, Blue. Blue. Blue number 17. Thank you, Marcus. Yeah, these guys, they have some fantastic game management ability. Isipatana, we have seen that time and again. Every time they are into lead, they know how to manage it. But right now, the question is, rather than managing the lead, they have to secure that lead. If not, St. Joseph's one scoring opportunity away. Time off. Time off. Wait, wait. So it's going to be a close call. Hold. Take your mark, please. Hold, hold. Time. Please. Wait, 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 wait. Time on. Play on. Well, well, well. Overcooked it. And I'm not sure what they were planning. But it looks very predictable. And St. Joseph's after winning that line out. And missing it, Russian Gunavardana. What an error. Yes, the experienced man, you wouldn't uh, be uh, seeing that too often. Mark but here. unfortunately, the moment got to him and he spills the ball. And now, yet again, Sipatana College win position. Patana College looks Time set to run Subs. with uh, no attackers on uh, the blind side. Well, the best man, the best player so far for Isi Patana goes out. That's Janit Serasinghe, who has been very instrumental. Coach! Bind! Fresh legs coming in. Tarindu, Vivala. Be by, be by. Of switching positions. Be by. No, no, boot it. We were sending it back. Not a healthy pass, but good enough to secure the ball. But seems like Nadine Basik in trouble. Use it. Going into contact. Use it. Still, Lisipatana holding that ball, opting to drive forward instead of giving Beats. it to the three quarters. Well, the field looked pretty open. You can see all the Joes forwards and three quarters pumped up and waiting to charge. And, uh, well, it's again like, you know, it's an aimless kick. Either you should find touch or if not, you should be going for the points. You don't kick it at a man. And that's what he did on that occasion. They have to release that player. If not, it's going to concede a penalty. But then again, they have done it. So Joes secure that. They're opting to go with the forwards. Seems like it. Yes, they are. Release. And once again, the big lad, Gregory, coming into play. Shawan Gregory, who has scored two tries for St. Joseph's and playing a good work. And it's a close one. Well, you can Release. see these easy path forwards when they're defending. They are not only going for the man, but they're going with the man and the ball. No, no, it's and a rock. That's what earlier done by Manoj Gautam. Beautifully Release. done. Stole that ball around. Well, it's a penalty for St. Joseph's. Well, this is going to be very interesting. I think it's a bit out of uh, range from uh, Santosh. But it looks like he's calling for the tee. Well, well, well. This is interesting to see. Well, unbelievable, this lad. He had a fantastic game with the boot. And also, he played some fantastic rugby. Well, the clock is pretty much dead. So that's why everybody is talking to him. Yes, that's going to be the final play, I guess. You can see it in the body languages. And Santo Shalgama, if he can make it, he'll be the hero. If not, Isipatana will go on to win. If not, St. Joseph's College will be packing their bags and heading back home. Well, the man of the match, I would say, for Isipatana, that's that's going to be 
Janit Serasinghe, but also we have to wait and see how St. Joseph's perform. But on the other hand, for me, from Joseph's is Siobhan Gregory. So two candidates. Santu Shalgama with the kick. Opting to go. That falls short. Collects it. And seems like that's the end of the story for AC Patana. Yes, it is. That's the final whistle. 19-14. Heartbreaking for the Josephians. But again, Isi Patana winning this game clinically, scoring that final try. Few minutes to go, and they move forward. Beautifully done. And the clear man of the match for Isi Patana will be Janit Serasinghe. Yes, indeed. A lovely bit of play. Unfortunately for St. Joseph's College, they fall short by two points. But having said that, Isi Patana College did extremely well and uh, they held on to the lead they had they did gain the lead with uh, around uh, seven minutes to go and they held their nerve did not concede any penalties in their red zone and uh, end the game on the winning side well that's going to be the end of the line for the josephians or rather the end of the road they had a fantastic season and the knockouts there's no say about it if you win, you move forward. If you lose, you go home. So that's what happened. And also, there you go. Look at the final score. St. Joseph's trailing by, or rather leading by four points. But then again, losing by two points. Isi Patana. Final score, Isi Patana 19, St. Joseph's 17. Well, also, Isi Patana made the substitutions at the right time as well. And look at the scorecard. Yes, indeed. Uh, three tries, play two in favor of uh, Isi Patana College. And it is that... Uh, they, they did the score more tries and uh, three tries plays two uh, two conversions for Isi St. Joseph's College scored two tries with two conversions and a penalty. However, they fall short by two points and the map, the clear player of the match goes to Janit Sarasinger from Isi Patana. He did have a fantastic game. Well, there you go. That's the one coming up next. That's tomorrow. Kingswood taking on St. Peter's. Uh, and you can get the live coverage from 355 onwards. And the first semi final on 12th of July, that's next week. Wesley playing against Vidyatha. Vidyatha coming in for this championship after playing in the second division. And they have done so well. And that's going to be on the 12th against the Giant Killers, Wesley. But Kingswood playing against St. Peter's. That's going to be a crucial game tomorrow. So I guess that's about it here from the commentary box. And signing off with the www.com Papare crew. And I'm Clifford Surendran. And along with me, it's Romario De Silva. Bye bye, and see you all tomorrow.
She's not just a girlfriend, she is your sweetheart. When you feel it, you don't just call it sunshine, you call it warmth. When you reveal your deepest emotions, it's not just art, it's freedom. And when its essence is premium cocoa butter, it's not just chocolate, it's Ravello. Chocolate so special, you call it Ravello. Echo the voices of fun. Fashion inspired by emotion. Glitz, the fashion destination. I start each day with a dream. A dream to win. Training. Working hard. Rain. How strong the other team is. Nothing can stop me. Nourishing Milo with its unique combination of chocolate, malted barley and B vitamins together with the goodness of milk brings out the winner in you. Milo, fueling the winning spirit. Nestle, good food, good life. ICC Cricket World Cup Didahas Dahanavir Saji Viva Naraban Dialogue Television within Star Sports Channel Hyama Ekata Dan Rupial Ekasi Hatalis Nave Katalabagan Singapore Savariak Dinagani Matat Avastava Kimikaragan Activate Kirimata on Histana Obe Dialogue Television Ginum Anke Histana Didahas Dahanavil is a type kara Binduai Hatahatai Binduai Haisi Hatanabe Haisi Hatan Naviator SMS Karan Surprise, fashion inspired by emotion. Glitz, the fashion destination. I start each day with a dream. A dream to win. Training. Working hard. Rain. How strong the other team is. Nothing can stop me. Nourishing Milo with its unique combination of chocolate, malted barley and B vitamins together with the goodness of milk brings out the winner in you. Milo, fueling the winning spirit. Nestle, good food, good life. This is the the ICC Cricket World Cup Didahas Dahanavir Saji Viva Naraban Dialogue Television within Star Sports Channel Hyama Ekata Dan Rupial Ekasi Hatalis Nave Katalabagan Singapore Savariak Dinagani Matat Avastava Kimikaragan Activate Kirimata on Histana Obe Dialogue Television Ginum Anke Histana Didahas Dahanavil is a type kara Binduai Hatahatai Binduai Haisia Hatanavai Haisia Hatan Naviator SMS Karan Thank 
यहाँ पोषा दान ने इरिंग को सहल मुंग सोया वितरण निवेश किरण तक तक करला एनी सा माँ चेंज हो ना लंका विला माँगे अलूट मस्सो आगे नहीं मैं कर रसा एक बैलीबन यहाँ पोष रसा एक डे चेंज हुए ना किसी गेम मक ने पदम परख कुए सुमीरी पाने पदम टक गहला दावत से पुरा दावत का दरने न मिहिरा कुबुदा पदम मैलीबन आहटा पदमनीय मेटर रस सामग्र मुसुना मैली बंटे एक कपे लावसर रस मुना पदम वारु दे आहटा पदमनीय मेटर रस सामग्र मुसुना मैली बंटे पदम बंटे कहाँ से श्रीलंकी का सामग्री तेरी मा no limit. Drift in search of happiness. Fashion inspired by emotion. Glitz, the fashion destination. I start each day with a dream. A dream to win. Training. Working hard. Rain. How strong the other team is. Nothing can stop me. Nourishing Milo with its unique combination of chocolate, malted barley and B vitamins together with the goodness of milk brings out the winner in you. Milo, fueling the winning spirit. Nestle, good food, good life. I have news. Let's meet. Sali laka benu en saya mangga lakta pama dahari heli mas sebab perimu kuki gatiak. Ubi utsaya tiur benda tarmada. Ubi syari re utsaya dabiyo kekarai. Bulim dahari ya. In pasu greens. Ante begai sorry. Clear men sama kini negatif nak kahle ayat me. Sama ni shampoo lada mada degunya kerja kari clear men. Obat sama kini sorry balat erhi bus sadan badi. Ubi jaya krahari ada perempang sadana. Asam sama laka benda ala sebab perimu benu en mas suwi sheshi. Clear men. Lubang kiki men shampoo. Then Goldio body spray. Hatunwa then alut malut madini hatrakin. Blaze challenge storm sah rave. Adem try karanda. Goldio body spray. Pevisi hatrapura. Stumble upon a surprise. Fashion inspired by emotion. Glitz the fashion destination. I start each day with a dream. A dream to win. Training. Working hard, rain. How strong the other team is, nothing can stop me. Nourishing Milo with its unique combination of chocolate, malted barley, and B vitamins, together with the goodness of milk, brings out the winner in you. Milo, fueling the winning spirit. Nestle, good food, good life.